This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. Today, we're in Mechanicsville, Virginia. Today, we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here in a nice, quiet subdivision. Uh, this is Pebble Creek. Pebble Creek is one of the larger subdivisions in Hanover County. This home is a real treat. I'm going to call it an entertainer's dream. And you will see here momentarily why I say that. Uh, we've got great curb appeal here. A number of Really nice updates have been done to this home. Uh, we have uh, third level, and uh, that third level is so useful. Uh, you can use it a few different ways. If you wanted to make it a bedroom, you can. If you wanted to use it as cave space, uh, it could go that way. Home office, playroom, workout area. Uh, we've just got a number of different options. Special thanks to Ms. Bacon with Trinity Real Estate, kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at her beautiful listing. We do have a two car side entry garage and the uh, rear yard is completely fenced. And uh, wait till you see this backyard. It is uh, definitely something special. Our exterior, of course, is low maintenance vinyl. Uh, we've got uh, insulated windows and let's go on in and take a look. Okay, as we come in, that blue theme has been continued uh from the outside in As you can see we've got uh, really colorful blue walls with white trim of course this is going to be our more formal side of the home uh, straight back of course is our family room a dining area informal dining and kitchen and of course our stairs going up we have a nice dramatic two-story foyer here we're going to start here in our more formal space uh, here in the front this is a great place if you have uh, kind of formal furniture uh, they have a stage here of course with a desk there you could uh, have a home office here if you wanted to be able to look out have some nice natural light the space here is uh, separated by the columns and uh, we of course pick up chair rail and a nice tray ceiling here in our formal dining space so i think they did a real good job of leaving it open yet showing that they're two distinct spaces here to the left this is going to be a closet right here under stair and then our two car attached garage now there's a lot of personal property here uh, but you will get an idea that this of course is our two car garage we do have a pedestrian door there as well this home does have a new whole house vac and that's not something we often see the home also has a controller there for irrigation that whole house vac is super convenient. You don't have to lug a vacuum cleaner all around uh, the entire home. All of your dirt would come right there to that location, that canister. Okay, this of course is our powder room. Very convenient location here on the first floor. Our family room is directly ahead. And I love that we have wood floors here. Uh, there are some built-ins down at the end. Gas log fireplace, we've got recessed lights. Notice we also have speakers there in the ceiling. So that's a really nice plus. Uh, here we can see when this home was built, they had the nook there for televisions. And of course, televisions have gotten much slimmer. And um, the owner did something here that's real, uh, a real smart move. They did the two by four here. You can actually mount your modern flat screen there and then cover up that big cavity or at the bottom of that cavity, you can, of course, put your components and uh, have a nice, clean look. Of course, the built-ins give plenty of additional storage. Uh, you could put uh, small figurines or artwork there, and then you even have some recessed lighting here on this space. So very nicely done. Uh, we are nice and open here, of course, to our beautiful kitchen. Our kitchen features tile on the floor. Uh, we've got some really nice 42 inch cabinets they even gave us a little i call this the homework desk here uh, we've even got the connections back when this home was built we had dial-up service so you could connect right there and log on to aol uh, for your internet of course now we can either use coaxial cable or just simply wi-fi this space here these cabinets here these would actually serve as your pantry um, it, Plenty of food storage there. Our refrigerator, a nice stainless fridge with ice and water in the door. Uh, our KitchenAid stove and microwave look great. 
Love what they did here with the backsplash. We've got nice texture here uh, that goes along nicely with uh, this granite that is absolutely beautiful. I just love what they did there. And in conjunction with that, they gave us a contrasting uh, granite here on the island. So uh, very nice. This isn't something we see very often. We've got a full set of drawers there. And of course, on this side, some additional seating space. So uh, you can actually have a quick uh, snack or a quick breakfast uh, right here at the island. Very well done. Some pendant lights overhead. Our informal dining is here to the left. We've got plenty of natural light that flows in to this space. And of course, you'd be able to see uh, the majority of the deck in the backyard. Now, we're going to go through this sliding door. This space, this was added to the house after it was built. Uh, this is a sunroom. All of the uh, shades are, are drawn now, but of course, you'd be able to have a view of the entire backyard uh, if they were open. We've got a television in place. This unit here provides heat and cooling. And as a result of it providing heat, this is now finished space. An appraiser now counts this space as far as finished square footage. Now that's important because that's going to affect the value when he or she does the valuation of this property, this space now counts. If that heat source was not in place, it would not count. Air conditioning is not required. Although this space does have AC. Okay, here we are. This is the backyard that I was talking about. You can see we're completely fenced back here. We have an extensive amount of decking and we have about, we're actually a third of an acre here. The entire lot is a third of an acre. So we've got a good size a subdivision lot. Some additional storage space here. This is perfect for lawnmower, lawn and garden items, things that you don't want in the house or in the garage. And I'm gonna go to the other side so you can get an idea of what the other side looks like. We do have dimensional shingles there in place, and this just looks like a very relaxing place to entertain. We have a fire pit that's in place there. Look at the extensive decking. We've got decking that's passed that end of the house all the way across to the other end of the house. This is probably one of the biggest decks that I've seen in a long time. You guys remember the last video that you saw had two decks. That house, by the way, sold in three days and uh, we are moving towards closing here in about three weeks. So we're very proud of that. I uh, love the little gazebo that we have there. You can entertain the entire neighborhood back here uh, at one time on this deck. This is truly remarkable. All right, let's go back inside and see what else we have in store. Right now, we are seeing still good activity. Uh, even though we had a little uptick in rate, uh, we're seeing, seeing good activity in the market. If you are thinking about selling, this is still a great time to sell. If you're thinking about buying, these prices continue to rise. So you wanna go ahead, give me a call. You wanna do it well in advance. You wanna start talking to a lender well in advance to make sure that you are good to go when it comes time to go ahead and make that move. Okay, we are gonna start here. This is gonna be bedroom number one. Notice we have these wood floors. That's not something that's extremely common in bedrooms. So that's a nice upgrade. Closet on this side, and then a closet on the other. So nice dual closet here in the secondary bedroom. A ceiling fan in place as well. This is our hall bath. Look at the frame there on that mirror. I like the, the rustic look there with the texture. We have the granite vanity top, and uh, this is gonna be LVP here on the floor. Fiberglass tub shower with an oversized dual head shower head. We are gonna now continue up to our third level uh, after we take a look here in this nice deep closet this is the hose this hose is uh for the vac system so you just plug it in for example 
right there. The hose goes there and then gives you vacuuming capacity for the entire home. It was 100 degrees today and uh, boy, I'll be glad when we get back down to some more moderate temperatures. This is really, really uncomfortable sometimes uh, when you're out and about and moving around. Okay, here in this top floor bedroom, we've got a wine cooler here and a refrigerator down there. So of course we have a bar. This space, as I mentioned earlier, can go a bunch of different ways. We do have a little art nook directly there that's lit, which is really neat if you have something you wanna put there and have a light shine on it. Our heat pump closet. This home does have dual zone heating and air. This is going to be our walk-in closet, nice and deep. So if you wanted a rod, of course you could put one up, but it is completely optional. If you did not want to use this as a bedroom, then you might not want to have a rod up. An appraiser will still count it as a legitimate bedroom. Okay, here to the left, this is gonna be bedroom number three. We are now on the back of the house. Got that ceiling fan going nice and fast. And this one's gonna have a nice big closet here with double doors. Okay, we're gonna make our way now to the left. This is gonna be bedroom number four. This is gonna be similar size. Uh, this would be great for uh, probably a full size uh, bed. We've got the double doors there to the closet. Once again, another ceiling fan. And now is our upstairs laundry. So we've got Samsung washer and dryer. They would both convey. And then we've got storage overhead. We're now going into our primary bedroom. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Nice space here. Uh, I believe that is going to be a staged queen size bed, but we have plenty of space here. Uh, ceiling fan, wood floors, we have the thermostat here uh, in the primary bedroom. As I mentioned earlier, we've got two dual zone, dual closets. So we've got one right here. And then we have another here to the left. And we're heading now into our primary bath. And this is gorgeous. Look at that granite vanity top. That is absolutely beautiful. We've got a little space there. If you wanted to have a, a seat there, you could and uh, make it a makeup table. To the right is going to be our jetted tub. This is great. After a long day, you can put candles and uh, decorate here around the edges. Uh, make this a really beautiful space. Self-care, ladies. It's a great place to do that. And our dual head shower, stand-up shower looks really nice wow what a beautiful home i don't get out to hanover county very often so i'm happy to bring this home to you uh, if you have any questions about this or any other home on the market my name is max williams it'd be an honor to help i can be reached on facebook under richmond area foreclosures on youtube under my name max williams realtor please be sure to comment like and subscribe thank you so much for taking the tour y'all be safe have a great day.